this is Ian Clark and um, showing here, um, who I've known for 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I was at art school, uh, Ian was a young printer and printmaker, and uh, we've known each other for a very long time. And it seemed an, a, a brilliant thing when Ian asked me to sit. And now you have to talk. Okay. <laughs> It's not a traditional portrait, it's not a traditional photograph because I don't really do either. I, I consider myself an artist, I'm not a photographer. I get branded a photographer because I use a camera. I use a camera because I'm not a painter, I can't paint, I can't draw. So a camera is a fantastic tool to use. Now, you know, a lot of artists use photographs and paint from photographs. In a way, I do the opposite. I use photography and end up with something that could be a painting, it could be a print, it's ambiguous and that's kind of what I want to achieve really. I want to get something that makes people look at it twice, they walk up to it and they don't actually know what it is and what I'm doing is I'm taking out a lot of the uh, kind of three-dimensional side of it and making it very planographic in a way. I absolutely hate having my static image captured in any shape or form. I prefer to animate myself so I distract people from how I actually look by what I'm saying and what I'm doing. So I was slightly resistant to this portrait but wanted to do it because it was a friend, it was an artist I admired and also it was a huge honour to even think that my portrait would someday be in the building that I used to work in. Um, but I do find it difficult um, because I'm quite shy and I don't like um, how I look very much. So those are all vanities that you have to overcome though if you're taking part in something that's fine art. It's not actually about me at all and that's what you have to remember, it's about something else. I don't do portraits particularly to please the sitter. I do portraits because, you know, I'm thinking about what I'm looking at, but I'm also thinking about what the viewer is going to see when they see them. And it is irrelevant, really, what the sitter thinks, because actually, although you want to please the sitter, you don't want to upset the sitters. I have upset people with some of my portraits, but that's not my aim. My aim is to produce something that I think has got some kind of emotion and some kind of honesty to it about that person. Uh, the portrait that, of Brian Cox that's also in the collection came about because I've, I've known Brian sort of for a few years, not terribly well, but he happened to drop in to visit me one day and I took the opportunity, as I often do when people come to see me, I asked them if they would mind me taking their portrait. Now Brian had no idea what I was doing but I took his portrait and I worked on it and I, I got it to a stage where I, I was really pleased with it and he was back in Glasgow, so I went to see him and I showed him the portrait. Now, his reaction wasn't terribly positive towards it because the first thing he said to me was, he said, oh, my eyes are blue. Now, in, in the portrait I did of him, his eyes are actually brown, but that's nothing to do with what he looks like. It's to do with the fact, the composition and the colours that I used in the image. But anyway, eventually it was, it was unveiled here and Brian came to the unveiling and his sister, who was there, said to him, Brian, the portrait's got our father's eyes because it turned out that uh, their father had these dark eyes. And so Brian's view of it completely changed at that point and he was delighted with it. I've had my portrait painted by Alison Watt, the painter, before who I just sit for. And, uh, and it was quite... The, the, the interesting thing was it took the same time. Ian took as long as somebody who was actually hand-eye coordination physically applying paint. Alison took the same time as Ian took and had the same difficulties about me talking. But um, it's interesting that Ian's, Ian's technique is no quicker than the actual application of paint from somebody who's a, who's a painter. So it's either you're just wasting time or <laughs> you're actually very good at it. What I tried to do and what I was trying to do with Muriel was to kind of in a way, deconstruct her image, take everything out of it and just leave certain aspects of it, certain recognisable things. For instance, her hair, you know. I mean, even in that, her hair is not her platinum spiky blonde. It's kind of, there's green and there's, there's all sorts of different colours in it, but it's instantly recognisable as Muriel's hair, I think. You know, it's kind of part of her, kind of the shape of her head and everything. The main focus really is, is, is the eyes. You know, that's the kind of thing that comes out of it. Muriel is kind of seen in a certain way because of her of public image. Now, I know Muriel because I've known her for a long time, and I wanted there to be something of the kind of compassion and the emotion that Muriel has in her life. I wanted that to come through in the picture. I didn't want it to be kind of seen as being spiky or brash. I wanted it to be quite kind of 
quite emotional, quite tranquil in a way. You know? I've never said this before. I've never, I've never discussed this it with you. you never no, have. I've never discussed That's it with really you. That's really sweet. Know? But, but that, that, that was really what I was trying to do, you know. I absolutely love the portrait, but that's because it's incredibly flattering if I'm looking at it just purely from an image of me point of view. But I love it on a different level as well because it's a really unusual portrayal of a three-dimensional object in a two-dimensional way but has enormous depth, if that doesn't sound like a contradiction. So as a piece of art, I think it's sublime, but um, of course I'm hugely flattered by it because it's rendered my face completely invisible except for eyes and lips <laughs> and, a, and a big nose. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm very proud of Ian. I think it's a great piece of work.